versus Wolf. Koenig versus Wolf. I'm Doug Wolf with uh, General Manager Clay Koenig. And what's our topic this week? Well, it's about Major League Baseball, tax assessments, stadiums being built, and everything oh. like that. And I know that this you're upset about peeve. it. So I'm going to let you roll. Okay. I'm, I'm going to let you roll. So we're talking about state resources, taxpayer dollars. You're driving to work today. You hit a pothole. You need a new tire because they can't have. They don't have the money to, let's say, pave the road. Or maybe you're jobless and the unemployment benefits run out because there's not enough money to go around. Yet they always seem to have enough money to build stadiums. Let's take last week with the Chicago Bears. They want 4.6 billion. They need 4.6 billion, I should say, to build a new stadium. It's a metropolis. I mean, they're building yeah, a, a whole complex. Yes. 4.6 billion. Their current stadium is not paid for, Soldier Field. It's not. They renovated it 20 years ago. Yes. In fact, the Bears played two years in Champaign, just Correct. 40 miles from here. 4.6 billion. The Bears are like, we'll pay 2 billion of it. And then they're going to borrow 300 million from the NFL. But the remaining about $2 billion, they want the legislature to help them out. That's taxpayer dollars. And then told the legislature, which adjourns next month at the end of May, that, hey, we need this right away. We need the legislature to act right away because of inflation, right? Well, the legislature's like, uh, no, we've got four weeks left. We're, we're not helping you. So that's the bears, okay? Then there's the White Sox. Don't say a word. <laughs> I got plenty to talk about right. in the White Sox. Right. But well, I'll let you that's go. not go the topic. All right, go ahead. And there's the Chicago White Sox. Listen to this. They want $1.7 billion to build a new stadium in the south loop of Chicago. And they want most of it to come from taxpayers. Okay, but what about guaranteed rate? They just built it. They did. They built it in 1991. It's still not paid for. Still not paid for because they've done two renovations to it. All right? So they're just taking out second mortgages on these buildings that have been paid for well, to yeah, renovate. And it's all paid through taxpayers through the Illinois Sports Facilities Authority, which, is a, which does the bonding for the state of Illinois for sports stadiums, right? Those bonds, they, oh, that's not a tax increase. We're using bonds. Well, taxpayers pay for those bonds. Jerry Reinsdorf, the owner of the White Sox, went to the legislature a month and a half ago with his handout. Now, fortunately, so far, Governor Pritzker just says he's skeptical of these deals. And the two legislative leaders, the two Democrats, Welsh in the House and Harmon in the Senate, are going, no. We're not doing it this time. Okay, so I've, I've got a question here. Let, let me, let me break this down. I got a whole bunch. I know. Here. So go ahead. What you're saying, the Chicago Bears, um, you know, they bought this huge parcel of land outside of the city. Arlington Racetrack. Yeah. Ar which right. was another project that was paid for by taxpayers. Okay, so they went and bought that and they said, we are going to move up to Arlington Heights. Okay. Right. And they bulldozed the uh, track. And they said it was the best piece of parcel up there. Uh -huh. Okay. Then new mayor comes in. They get together. Correct. And they say, okay, we won't go up there. We will go here. But if we do, you're going to have to pay the piper. Yeah, pretty much. So they're strong armor. They're, if yeah. you want us to keep Absolutely. us here, right. we're going to strong arm you for $2 billion. Let me give you an example of the White Sox and Jerry Reinsdorf. 1988, they threatened to move to Tampa. I was covering it in the legislature. Okay. Covered it for weeks. We don't have this money by the June 30th, which was the legislative deadline back in those days. We're moving to Tampa. And Jim Thompson, the governor, and the legislature bought it, got them a new stadium on July 1st, just hours after their deadline. Jerry Reinsdorf went and talked the, um, to the mayor of Nashville, all right, recently, with uh, basically leaking that they're going to talk to Nashville about possibly moving it. They're not moving to Nashville. They were never moving to Tampa. Go ask the Rays how their attendance is in the same stadium the White Sox were threatening to move into. Then Nashville, they're not going there. Why? They're the number three TV market in the United States. They're going to give up that TV revenue? Not a chance. It's all political taxpayer extortion. Is it actual fraud? No. It's, it's these billionaires taking money out of our pockets. And I'll give you two examples in St. Louis when we come back. How's that sound? Sounds good. We'll be back in a moment. You're watching Koenig versus Wolf. And uh, 
Doug is going off on Major League oh, Baseball. It's, it's why taxpayers are getting screwed on these stadium deals. Here's, here's the biggest, one of the biggest boondoggles I've ever seen. I mentioned to you in the break, the Edward Jones Dome. Does that ring a bell? Well, back in the mid-90s, they built this indoor dome stadium, which was originally called the TWA Dome. But TWA, of course, was the airline that went bankrupt. They right. then became the Edward Jones Dome. I think that's a brokerage firm. Okay? Yes. And that was the home of the St. Louis Rams. Okay? St. Louis Rams had a 20-year lease, got up and left. But the bonds on that stadium, they're 30 to 40-year bonds. They're still paying for it, and there's no NFL team in there. They hold some events, but that's, that's a white elephant losing money for the taxpayers of Missouri. Well, say so when you talk about taxpayers will have the burden of this $2 billion, so what does that mean for each person? I mean, the, the regular oh. Joe, what does that mean? I mean, I don't know. I, don't know you, you said, many, I haven't done the math on all it. All right, so you said sports authority, so they're going to get taxed on extra jerseys or whatever they're buying at any type of... Uh, well, it's not know. only that. They, the, it's coming out of the general revenue or however they finance those things. Those are bonds, man. They, it comes out... When you're paying your income tax and your property tax, or property tax mostly goes to school, but your income tax and these other taxes, that all goes into financing bonds. It's like any time the state does a road, they do bond issues Okay, to pay for the road. So let's say that you're the mayor of Chicago. Yeah. What do you do? What do you do? What do I do? Yeah, if you've got oh, Jerry Ryan, the same Dorf. BS he does. Okay. Because I'm the mayor and I want this because they're going to claim economic development. Look at all these lovely renderings we have. Won't this stadium be wonderful? Even though you won't be able to afford the ticket to buy to get into that place and unless are, you're a corporation. You see Wrigley Field, they've built they that huge no complex. Wrigley. Yeah, but they told Wrigley no. Yeah, they but did. they're still having the concerts and everything. They're bringing yeah, in yeah, revenue yeah, yeah. left oh, yeah, and right. Yeah, yeah. But the difference was the, the Ricketts family, they paid for those renovations. That's what all these billionaires need to do is pay for their own renovations, pay for their own stadiums, and not stick to taxpayers. Here's one for you. St. Louis Cardinals, okay? They built that stadium 18 years ago. 18 years ago. It's practically new. And they're already telling Missouri and St. Louis, hey, we need another $600 million for renovations for that stadium. Okay? And then they say, we may have to look around if we don't get that money. They just built a stadium. They just built Ballpark Village. There's no way they're moving out of that stadium when they're bringing in 3 million ticket holders a year at that place. I think the last 10 years, there's only been one year where they didn't hit 3 million in attendance. And that was probably, I don't know, 2011 or something. The year they won the World Series, right? I think they're in last place and they still fill they them up. They still fill yeah. it up, that yeah. place. And then here's another one. This month, okay, there was a referendum in Kansas City to extend by 40 years a sales tax to build a new stadium for the Kansas City Royals, downtown Kansas City, and for the Kansas City Chiefs, who just won the Super Bowl, I know two years in a row, making all kinds of money, they want to renovate Arrowhead, and then built a complex kind of like the Bears, like a whole NFL yeah. complex. The voters of Kansas City, the voters of Missouri, voted down that sales tax extension. And now the Kansas City Chiefs are going, well, we may have to move. Oh, it's ridiculous. Never mind. They're selling that stadium out every stinking Sunday. And you put Taylor Swift up in the box up there every, <laughs> every week. You can charge double because people are coming. I know it. I know it. It's ridiculous. So, And then the Oakland A's. The Oakland Athletics. That's one of my favorite stories. They extorted the hell out of Oakland. Oakland didn't buy because Oakland doesn't have any money. So they're going to move to Las Vegas. They're tearing down the Tropicana on the Strip. They're going to relocate, supposedly, until it's a done deal. It's not done. Put their stadium right there where the Tropicana was. The only problem is, for the next three years, they're going to be playing in a minor league stadium in Sacramento because they couldn't cut a deal with Oakland to let them play there another three years. Capacity of like 5,500, oh, I think. Oh, it's something real low. Yeah. I don't know what it is, They'll but it's They'll finally low. get a full stadium, though. You think <laughs> yeah, about, they right? will. Finally get a full stadium. Can't imagine what they're going to charge on that. The Baltimore Orioles, Camden Yards, they want $600 million to renovate it. it. It's as old as Comiskey Park. 31 years old, 32 years old. All taxpayers, taxpayers, taxpayers. Hey, well, well, yeah, taxpayers are going to have to come up with it. But these are billionaires. Let them get their own money. I agree. I agree. You know, they can go to they can go to Busey Bank downtown and borrow it. 
Busey Bank would love it. Oh, I'm that sure. That interest rate, I'm sure. <laughs> I was going to tease you on your White Sox, but I'm going to no, let no, it go. No, that's okay. No, no, no. Look, you well, said we it right. We doubled yep. our wins. Doubled. We doubled our wins this Give weekend. We went from Give three me. wins to six because we awesome. swept the race. That was awesome. Honestly, that was awesome. Thank you for not ripping my White Sox. Well, look, I, I understand because I tell people that football, the NFL is my favorite sport, but baseball is my religion. I love baseball. Yep. You know that. We have a couple of good baseball guys right. around here. We could talk about any stat. Yep. I love it. But here's the problem. The White Sox, this is my opinion. I may be totally wrong about this, but I think I'm right. The White Sox have the worst team on the field this year. They're minor leaguers because they're rebuilding. I think they did it deliberately. You know why? They can say, people are not coming to our ballpark. Because who's going to come to watch that? Crap? It's almost like Major League yeah. with, with the Cleveland Indians. That's exactly movie. what yes. it is. Yes. Only in real life. Yes. But here's what's killing them. All right? Like Saturday night, they had 28,000 people. They had the whole bottom level full, and there were seat, people sitting in the upper deck. It was like they had three wins starting the weekend, right? But, I get, but everybody the thing wants is, to see the train wreck. Because Reinsdorf's already made comments. Well, we just can't draw there. You can't draw there because you're not writing the checks. To get the good players on the field. Putting a good product on the I field. I think they're putting crap product on the field so they can say, hey, we need this new stadium, which is only two miles from the current stadium. Two. Doug, good job this week. Yeah. We could make this an hour program. Jordan, better go over and hit those lights. I'm not kidding you. This guy will just keep on going for hours. Yeah, I, I have other things to do today. Doug, Thanks. nice work. Thank you, brother. See you. Bye. Appreciate it.